Good evening, SRES Dragons. This is Miss Chestnut from the SRES Library. I've picked a book tonight that is a collection of poems by Robert Louis Stevenson. They are poems inspired by a child's imagination. I'm sure that all of you have had plenty of time in the last few days to use your imagination. I'm going to start this with a poem about the pirate story. The three of us afloat in the meadow by the swing, three of us aboard in the basket on the lee. Winds are in the air, they are blowing in the spring, and waves are on the meadow like the waves there are at sea. Where shall we adventure today that we're afloat? Wary of the weather and steering by a star? Shall it be to Africa, a steering of the boat? To Providence or Babylon or off to Malabar? Hi, but here's a squadron a rowing on the sea, cattle on the meadow a charging with a roar. Quick, and we'll escape them. They're as mad as they can be. The wicked is the harbor, and the garden is the shore. The next poem that I will read for you is The Land of Counterpane. When I was sick and lay abed, I had two pillows at my head and all my toys beside me lay to keep me happy all the day. And sometimes for an hour or so, I'd watched my leaden soldiers go with different uniforms and drills among the bedclothes through the hills. And sometimes sent by ships and fleets all up and down among the sheets or brought my trees and houses out and planted cities all about. I was the giant great and still that sits upon the pillow hill and sees before him dale and plain, the pleasant land of counterpane. The Land of Nod. From breakfast on all through the day, at home among my friends I stay. But every night I go abroad, afar into the Land of Nod. All by myself I have to go, with none to tell me what to do all alone beside the streams and up the mountain sides of dreams. The strangest things are there for me, both things to eat and things to see, and many frightening sights abroad till morning in the land of Nod. Try as I like to find the way, I never can get back by day, nor can remember plain and clear the curious music that I hear. And I would like to finish with my very favorite it's called, I Have a Little Shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me and what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from my heels up to my head and I see him jump before me when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all like proper children, which is always very slow for he sometimes shoots up taller like an Indian rubber doll, and he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me, he's a coward, you can see. I think shame to stick to nursey as that shadow sticks to me. One morning very early before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an errant sleepy head, had stayed at home beside me and was fast asleep in bed. I hope that you are all getting used to the new normal of your schedules and we do miss your faces around the school, but we will all be here and back together shortly. Have a wonderful night.